Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Good morning, Prophetess Lawan. How you doing? Good morning. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Share the video. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Willie. Kim Anisha. Good morning, everybody. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you got any prayer requests. Oh, yeah, okay. Gotcha. If you got any prayer requests, put them in the comments. Any prayer requests, put them in the comments. Any prayer requests, put them in the comments. Prayer requests. Comments. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Westbrooks. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Cammy. <laughs> Good morning. If you got any prayer requests, put them in the comments. Kimanisha says she wants to thank everyone again for all the donation for her kids. They have clothes and shoes. Amen. God bless. God bless everyone that donated. Amen. That's what we are here for. Amen. Um, good morning, AJ Fisher. How you doing, Prophet? How you doing? Good morning, Jesus Gonzalez. That's a new face. That's a new face. Okay. Amen. All right, so this is Fire Prayer Mornings. Y'all gotta excuse my voice, it's a little hoarse. I don't know why I do that in the morning time, but it's like that in the morning, amen? And I only wake up enough time to shower and get dressed to do this. So I haven't said, this is my first time talking this morning, amen? So you guys get the, the first part of my voice, amen? Healing in my left knee, amen? Prayer requests, put them in the comments. Amen. All righty. So, yes, this is Fire Prayer Mornings where we do um, intercessory prayer. We do specific prayer requests. Um, and God, would get, he gave me an encouraging word this morning. It's going to be to the point and straight and simple. Amen. And if, if he leads me into the prophetic, I would definitely go into the prophetic. Amen. And so, like I always tell everybody, you know, we are led by the Holy Ghost on this thing. Uh, we all are working together. So, if uh, we pray together, then heavens, we can bombard heavens and we can see a change. Amen. Um, and so, when you come on here, just make sure that uh, you are on one accord. Your mind is on this thing and that we are doing what God wants us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we got two prayer requests so far. If you know anybody that has lost loved ones, we're going to continue to pray for the Creighton family. That's my stepbrother, uh, my stepbrother's family. Um, we buried him on Saturday. Amen. So continue to pray for the Creighton family. I'm trying to see if I know anybody that needs prayer as well. Um, my niece, I want to call my niece out in prayer. And my sister, because she's still dealing with um, the loss of her son as well. So my sister and her family. If 
you know anybody, put them in the comments, okay? Blessings, Jesus. Blessings, God bless you. Comments, put them in the comments. Amen. Today we're going to be coming from Isaiah, and I think this verse is blessings, Sister Latoya, Prophetess Latoya. Blessings, how you doing? If you know anybody that needs prayer, put them in the comments, okay? Y'all can share this video. Y'all see my nails? <laughs> Y'all see my nails? <laughs> Let me quit joking. But anyway, put your prayer requests in the comments. Um, and so we're going to bumble our heaven. We're going to go for it in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share, I'm going to share a dream that I had, uh, a, a few nights ago and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I just want to, I want to pray. I want to keep this dream in prayer. I pray, I pray. I mean, I dreamed that we was just walking outside and bombs, bombs just start coming from nowhere right man it was like we was being attacked war um i don't know what it means but i'm not just going to let that just good morning cousin Bertessa. how you doing i'm not just going to let that just slip by me and not call it out in prayer amen and so i had a dream we was all outside you know just different people and bombs just start like just start attacking coming down coming down and so, you know, I'm gonna I wanna raise that up in prayer, amen. Because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. They're only they're only speaking good things now. They're talking about the stimulus, you know, they're talking about um the good things, you know, even though COVID 19 is is kind of getting better, but it's still struggling. But we need to be aware of behind the scene things. Never forget there's always something brewing behind the scene, amen. Even when you come out of your season of, of if you've been in a season of peace and, a, and been in a season of rest, always remember there's something brewing behind that. Hey Amen. The enemy, in, in your time of rest, the enemy has plotted up something. He's came up with something. And so he's just waiting for that right moment to attack. Hey Amen. And so that's what I see. My dream was somewhat like that, but somewhat different. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. He'll show his prophets. Hey Amen. And so we can't, I was trying to worry, I was trying to think if I should share it or not. Good morning, Miss Desiree. God bless you. Amen. I was, yeah, I was trying to one. I was wondering if I should share it or not, but I can't be afraid to share what God shows me in my dreams. Amen. Because I might be, we have to warn the people. Amen. And so this morning, I'm, I'm just going to warn. Be aware of what's brewing behind the scenes. Amen. Because you might think everything is okay but everything is not okay. It's okay at that moment, but that very thing can sneak up behind you and you will have a rude awakening. Amen. So always be mindful. Always be mindful. Even when you are in your resting season, like I said before, we have different seasons. Amen. We, we come into a season where we're being tested. We come into a season where we're um, coming out of the test. We're in a season where we're in a resting place where God knows that we have been in battle for a long time. And now he's, now he's giving us some rest. Amen. And so while we're resting, the main thing we need to be doing is praying. Amen. When you're resting and when you in your resting resting season, you need to be fasting. Amen. That's the main time you need to be praying and fasting and getting closer to God when you in your resting season. Because sometimes when you come out of your resting season, you begin to go back and battle again. You don't you don't have all the strength that you need to be able to to be able to war and to battle. So why are you in your place of rest? I'm giving somebody some wisdom this morning. Why are you in your place of rest? Always make sure that you are getting closer to God like you never got closer to him before. Amen. So when the enemy tries to come in and attack you, it won't alarm you. It won't shake you. It won't bake you. It won't do nothing to you. You'll be already be prepared. Amen. Hallelujah. And so once again, um, the dream that we was getting attacked, people was getting attacked. Missiles was flying off. People, things was blowing up. And so I just hear the Lord saying, be careful um, uh, hallelujah. When you in your resting place, because there, there are things brewing behind the scenes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can preach that this morning. There are some things brewing behind the scene. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. 
But yeah, so I just wanted to drop that in there because I want you guys to even pray about what I even told you about the missiles. The missiles going off. We're going to bombard heaven even on that thing. Amen. Good morning, Miss uh, Monica White. How you doing? Jalisa Dudley and Jalisa Dudley. Amen. So yeah, while you are in your resting season, make sure you are praying and fasting and bombarding heaven. Amen. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't want to prolong. I know I was a little late, but I want, we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you have any prayer requests, I'm going to begin praying and Prophet Lord, Lord, she will put them in the comments if I don't see them. Amen. And if somebody else sees them, you're more than welcome to put them in as well. So let us all work together as a team. So everybody can get what they need from the line. Amen. This is a team thing. Amen. And so, Lord, we just come to you this morning, oh God. We just thank you, oh God. I thank you, oh God. Let me just stop for a minute and say, let me thank you, oh God. Thank you that I'm in my resting season, oh God. And I will not quit in my resting season, oh God. I will not, not just give up in my resting season, oh God. I will not... A lay back and act like everything is all good in my resting season, oh God. Because I know it's not, oh God. I know it's okay for right now. But help me to stay ready for battle, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for our resting season, oh God. We thank you that you have that you will bring us to a place of rest. When we have been in the spiritual, when we have been in spiritual warfare for so long, when we have fought a test for so long, we have when we have been in a fiery trial. Oh God, for so long that you will bring us to a place of rest, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for a rest, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we're resting in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we're not only resting, oh God, but we're resting in you, oh God. Resting in you is totally different than just resting, oh God. We're resting in your word, oh God. We're resting in prayer, oh God. We're resting in your promises, oh God. Hallelujah. We're resting in the vision that you have given us, oh God. We're resting knowing we're going to get to our destiny, oh God. We're resting in you, oh God. Help us to rest in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I know the I know the flesh get tired and I know we want to lay around and I know we want to sleep all the time but help us to not only rest, hallelujah, in the in the natural but to rest in you in the spirit, oh God. Hallelujah. Help us to stay aware of everything that's going on around us on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to not get weary and well-doing, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to keep our spiritual eyes on in the name of Jesus. That we may, mean, well, that we may not get blindsided by the enemy, oh God. That we might not get attacked without even knowing that he's coming, oh God. Help us to keep our spiritual ears open, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah. I hear your Holy Ghost. I hear your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. But God said, I have come that you may have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to stay clear of the enemy, oh God. And his tactics and his snares and his impetus, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's ever so scheming. He's ever so uh, always putting up plots and plans. But help us, oh God, to stay tuned to your voice, oh God. Help us to understand that we got to stay on the battlefield, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the warning, oh God. We know warning comes before destruction, oh God. So this morning, help us, oh God. We, we hear your heart to heart, not our heart, oh God. He says to stay ready. Stay ready so you don't even have to get ready. Amen. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Amen. He says, see the enemy coming before he comes. In the name of Jesus. You got to see the enemy coming before he comes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hey God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Move by your spirit right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way right now on this line right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We surrender to your will on today, oh God. 
We surrender to your will on today, oh God. We give it over to you, oh God. We give our thinking over to you, oh God. We give our mindset over to you, oh God. We give our hearts over to you, oh God, in the name of, we give our spirit over to you, oh God, creating us a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit within us, oh God. Hallelujah. You said you'll keep our mind in perfect peace, oh God, as we keep it stayed on you, oh God. Help us to surrender our mindset to you on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You said you'll never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. You'll always be with us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So when the spirit of loneliness comes to attack us, when the spirit of depression comes to attack us, oh God, Help us to understand what the word says, oh God. Help us to know the word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to fight with the word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for your power, oh God, that worketh in us, oh God. You giveth us power, oh God, to give wealth, oh God. You giveth us power to fight against the enemy, oh God. You giveth us power to lay hands on the sick and they be healed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do, we can do, oh God. The Bible even says that we can do it even better, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, with our faith, oh God. Stretch our faith, oh God, like never before, oh God. You said faith without works is dead, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So you got to have faith even to please you, oh Lord. Your faith has to please God in order for him to move, oh God. Help us with our little faith, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us understand that we can even pray for our own families, oh God, and they can be healed. They can be set free and they can be delivered, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God, on today, oh God. We need you like never before, oh God. We're crying out to you like never before, oh God. We're surrendering to you like never before, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, God, on this line, oh God. Draw your people to this line, oh God. You know who needs to be on it, oh God. Draw who you want on it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. If somebody needs prayer, oh God, somebody needs delivering, oh God, somebody needs to be set free, somebody needs healing, oh God, draw them in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you can only be drawn by your spirit, oh God. So have your spirit to draw them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Somebody's been waiting on this day. They've been waiting to come on, oh God. Give them exactly what they need, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Don't leave them out on today, oh God. Whatever it may be, oh God, finances, oh God. Give it to them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We speak to finances right now in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. We come against poverty right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for even on our day on today, oh God, that you will set the crooked places smooth on today, oh God, that you will clear our paths on today, oh God. If there's any setup, any entrapment, any snare, any plot, any plan that the enemy has already tried to set, we demolish it right now in the name of Jesus. We send that thing back to the pits of hell where it belongs. We know that you said in your word, this is the day that you have made. We, re we will rejoice and be glad in it, oh God. Help us to rejoice, oh God. Help us to praise you, oh God. Help us to give you thanks, oh God, on today in the name of Jesus. We give our day over to you, oh God. Help us to say what you want us to say. Go where you want us to go. Do what you want us to do, oh God, on today, oh God. The Bible says we die to our flesh daily, oh God. Help us to die to our flesh on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise right now. We honor you right now. We magnify you, oh God. We love you, oh God. We honor you, God. You're magnificent. You're all-knowing, oh God. You're Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah. You're our provider, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for Kamenisha, oh God. She said her and her kids have bad colds. We speak healing to her household right now in the name of Jesus. We come against sickness and disease and infirmities right now. And we send those things back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. We, we know the enemy got mad because she got blessed on the other day. But devil, you is a liar. You would take your hands off her and her family in the name of Jesus. You have no victory. You have no authority. 
You have no rights to her family. In the name of Jesus. You have no authority. Hallelujah. We continue to pray for the Crane family. We pray that you will continue to comfort their hearts, their minds, their spirits. In the name of Jesus. Give them peace as they lost their loved one, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Be everything that they need, O oh God. We pray for Miss Kathy as she had had surgery on her knee, O oh God. We pray right now for supernatural healing right now. In the na- a healing that the doctor can't even explain on today, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. From the inside out. Oh God, I hear you, Jesus. We pray that you will heal it from the inside out. Not the outside in, oh God, but the inside out, oh God. Repair every ligament, oh God. Every tissue, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Put it back the way it was, oh God. And even better, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for taking the pain away, oh God. Even without the pain pills, oh God. Remove the pain right now in her knee, oh God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray for, uh, what is it, Julius Daly, Dudley. We pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. We ask right now, God, that you will be everything that they need, oh God. Whatever the need is, oh God. We ask right now, God, that you will meet it for them, oh God. Come to their rescue, oh God, in their time of trouble, oh God. In the name of Jesus. You said it will call you, that you will come running in our time of trouble, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. Come to their rescue, oh God. Be everything that they need, oh God. In their 911 emergency, oh God. You know what it is, oh God. But we're thinking that you are already answering it, oh God. You're answering it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for my sister, oh God, and her kids, oh God. Heal them right now from the loss, oh God. Hallelujah. We lift them up to you, oh God. We lift every emotion, oh God, up to you, oh God. We lift up every hurt to you, oh God. Every confusion that they feel, they don't understand, oh God. We lift it up to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Satan, you can't even have them, oh God. You can't even have them. You have no authority in their life. Even in my nieces, you have no authority in her life. Take your hands off of her right now in the name of Jesus. We send every plot, plan, scheme back to the pits of hell where it belongs because it doesn't belong in my family in the name of Jesus. You cannot have my family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we lift you up on today. And we thank you, oh God. We thank you for everything that you're going to do, everything that you already done. We pray for the coronavirus on today. We ask right now, God, that you will heal this land, oh God. Hallelujah. We pray for this stimulus check, oh God. I just sent something that ain't going to be right about it. But Lord, you already know the deal, oh God. You already know the deal, oh God. You know everything about it, oh God. So we give it over to you, oh God. And if it's meant to be, let it be, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help your people, oh God, the way you want to help them, oh God. And Lord, we'll praise you. We'll forever give you praise. We'll forever give you glory. We'll forever magnify you, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to go back in. Hold on. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go back through the comments and I'm going to see if there are any more prayer requests. Okay. Um, let me see. Good morning, Miss Angela. How you doing? Good morning, Miss Yvette. How you doing? Mr. Michael Tate, God bless you. God bless you, cousin Dorothea. How you doing? I like to call people out, man. You need to acknowledge your people, amen. Because when God comes to you, he just don't speak. He acknowledges you, amen. Shamika, yes, Lord. (laughs) Amen. So acknowledge your people. If you're doing the online, acknowledge people when they come on, amen. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel accepted and wanted. And I know a lot of people say, well, why do we got to make them feel good? Because that's what you need to do, amen? Acknowledge people. 
safe delivery of my grandbaby and no complications. Lord, we just thank you right now. We thank you for a safe delivery from um, Miss Thor uh, Dorothea's uh, grandbaby, oh God. We pray that there will be no complications. There, there will be no nothing that's going to hinder this birth in the name of Jesus. We ask right now, God, that you will put your hands around the baby, even right now, even as it's in the womb, oh God. Place your angels right there in the inside of the womb right now, in the name of Jesus. God, the hands of the deliverer, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We know you are the deliverer, oh God. Hallelujah. We know that you are the deliverer, oh God. But we asking you, oh God, we're asking that you'll send your angels right now in the name of Jesus to go ahead and prep and prepare for this birth, oh God. And we give you praise, oh God. We thank you for protection, oh God. We thank you right now. We, we ask right now that if the enemy has any plans, we, we demolish his plans. We send his plans back to the pits of hell right now in the name of Jesus. And this baby shall come forth. It shall come forth with no complications, oh, oh God. It shall come forth with no problems, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise right now. And we give you glory right now. We honor you right now. We thank you, oh God, in advance for a great delivery, oh God. Even the mother, oh God. We ask right now, God, that you will even be with her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That there be no complications even in her body, oh God. In the name, no, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, nothing that will spike up even as she's in delivery, oh God. Cover her right now with the blood of Jesus right now, in the name of Jesus. We'll thank you, oh God, in advance, oh God. We'll praise you in advance, oh God, that all is well. I hear the Lord saying all is well. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All is well, all is well, all is well. Hallelujah. I heard the Lord saying all is well. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I want to teach you guys something too. Even when you are praying, you know, things are, um, you're praying and you're asking God for protection. You're welcome. You're welcome because you're asking God for protection. You know, many people don't teach this, but I want to share something with you. You have your personal angels. Amen. You have personal angels that's assigned to you. But they only going to move when you ask them to move. Amen. Nobody teaches us this. This is the funny part. Nobody teaches us that we, God has assigned us personal angels. And the more you sin, the more, the far away they get from you. See, angels can only come to purity. They can only be around what's good. Amen. And so as you begin to venture out and do what God wants you to do. As you are praying for things and asking God to do things for you, this tell them, my personal angels, I dispatch you right now to go fight this battle. You got to dispatch them out. You got to give them permission to go do what they need to do for you. They can sit there right there all day long by you and not move because you haven't gave them authority to, to, to move. So we dispatch personal angels right now in the name of Jesus to everybody on this line. You need to open up your mouth and tell God that even on today, I'm going to dispatch my personal angels to go out and fight for me. Whatever my battle is, whatever my situation may be, whatever I'm going through in the name of Jesus. But also remember, angels, they like to be around what's clean and what's good. Amen. Don't think they're going to stay around dirtiness and filthiness and, 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 and jealousy and malice and strife. They don't do that. So you want to make sure that you are keeping your, 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 uh, I guess your, um, what I want to say, keep your, keep yourself clean. Amen. Keep your spirit clean. Amen. So when it's time, when you get in trouble, well, I was just talking about this when I first started. That you can just speak to that angel and say, I need you to go fight this battle for me. You don't have to wait and worry and try to figure out what's... No, I got my angels because I know I've been living a clean life. I know I've been living a purified life. I know my heart is clean. My mind is clean. And all I got to do is ask my angels, go fight this battle for me. Amen. I'm going to stand right here and wait because I can send my angel out to fight for me. Amen. Hallelujah. We're not in this alone. We're not in this alone. And that's what you got to understand. The, the devil wants you to think that you are alone. He wants you to feel like, I don't have nobody. Let me tell you something. You might not have nobody in the natural, but you got everything you need in the spirit. Amen. You might not have 
anybody in the natural that you can even trust or talk to, but you got everything you need in the spirit. Amen. You got to use what's in your hand. Amen. You got to use what God has already given you. We go and try to find other things, people, places, and things to replace the very things God has already given us to use. And so when we go and do that, what we're actually doing, we're getting, we're getting, a, um, uh, uh, it's like a false sense of help, a false sense of authority. No, I want the real deal. Amen. Let me use what God has already put in my hand because I know if I use what God has given me, it's going to have all the power that I need. Amen. I don't have to go to this person and say, oh, I need you to do this. I need No, because I already got what I need in my hands. Now, I'm not saying that you don't need people, but at the same time, we put too much trust in man. And that's why God can't show us his glory. That's why we, God is not going to move like we want him to, lose, to move because we put too much authority in man's hand. Amen. So God is like, okay, so if you want to give man authority, then I'm going to let you go on over there and handle your business. But you'll be back. You'll be back. Amen. You'll be back. Because you're going to understand that only God has everything that I need. Don't let man fool you. They'll tell you they'll do this and this for you. They'll tell you, oh, I got your back. They'll tell you if you need me, call me. But at the end of the day, man, is not perfect. We serve only one perfect person, and that's the man upstairs, which is Jesus. Amen. That's the only perfect person we serve. Amen. So if that's the only perfect person I serve, that's the only perfect person I want to have put all my trust in. I, the Bible even talks about trust no man. You can't trust nobody. You can't. Who do you who? You can't. You can give them just a little bit. I can trust you as far as I can see you. That's how I feel about it. As far as I can see you, that's how far I'm going to trust you. But I don't trust nobody. And I'm just going to be real. I trust Jesus to trust somebody. I trust Jesus because I know God is going to show me what I need to see. He's going to reveal to me the things around me that's not right. He's going to even reveal to me the good things. Amen. So if I trust God to trust you, then I'm still doing what's right because I'm trusting God. Amen. We have to trust God to trust man. We can't trust man and trust God. No, you got to trust God to be able to trust man. Amen. And understand and know that God got your back. And if anything comes up or pops up, he's going to show it to you. Amen. That's right. Man will let you down, but not God. God will never let you down. And in times when we think he has let us down, we need to get to a point where we say, Lord, though he, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he don't do what I ask him to do, I'm still going to trust him. Though he don't give me the big fancy house that I want, I'm still going to trust him. Though he take the person that I love away from me, I'm still going to trust him. Though he don't give me everything that I desire, though I'm still going to trust him. Amen. And that's why we can't really receive the finer things from God because we don't even trust him with the small things. We're not even grateful for the small things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to move on. If all the prayer requests is done, I'm going to move on. Um, and my topic this morning is wait on God. Amen. Wait on God. Hallelujah. And the whole, the whole, um, um, service, what I, I said service, like I'm in church, help me Jesus. The whole, um, prayer has been, I actually been talking about waiting on God, resting in God. Letting God fight your battles. Amen. And so we're going to be coming from Isaiah 26 and 23. Y'all, when I tell you this is my healing for my mind verse. When they said, Shamika, you got bipolar um, years ago when I was younger and acting a fool. Didn't know what was wrong with me. Had been through so much in my life. Um, growing up in foster care, all this stuff. Didn't know what was happening to me. They said, Shamika, oh, you got bipolar. I said, okay. All right. So y'all diagnosed me with bipolar. All right. I don't even think I told this before, but they diagnosed me with bipolar. I said, okay. All right. <laughs> Miss Angela, stop laughing at me. So they diagnosed me with bipolar. Okay. And, um, and so they put me on medicine. I took the medicine for a while. This was some years ago. It's years ago. 
until I came against it, until I found this scripture in this Bible. And that's what healed my mind. And I want to tell somebody on this morning, if you're struggling with anything mental, amen, you, you, your thoughts, you, your thoughts race, you can't seem to think straight, you think negative all the time, I'm going to give you this scripture and I need you to write it down, but you need to speak it into your life every day, amen. So a lot of times the, the, the doctor will say, oh, you bipolar, you got mood disorders, and you know what, you might have them, but a lot of that don't have to be diagnosed as bipolar, amen. Something, sometimes you're just angry, you confused, you don't know, understand why I had to go through what I had to go through, where's my mother, where's my father, where's my family, you know, you got those kind of questions which trigger anger in the inside of you, amen, I'm going to teach a little counseling this morning, and so you're trying to figure out why am I feeling like this, any little thing uh, kicks me off, um, I just have my mood, is up and down, because I have some internal hurts, and I have some internal things that I really don't understand, amen, and so... I went through my phase of them saying, oh, Shamika, you bipolar. And I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of my testimony. Oh, man. Amen. Uh, I don't know. I just sound like I hear somebody. Oh, my gosh. She telling somebody she, she got diagnosed with bipolar? Yes, because I'm not that no more. I'm healed. I'm set free. I'm delivered. My mind is in perfect pieces. I keep it stayed on Jesus. Amen. So we go through some things as a young age. And then we don't get the proper treatment. We don't get the proper counseling. We don't get the proper uh, treatment for it. Um, and so when you don't get that those things, you begin to become somebody that you really not. You begin to fight. You begin to have anger, tantrums. You begin to lash out. There's some things that take place. Amen. There's some things that take place in our lives that we don't, that when the, our parents don't put us in the right places to get the help or we're not tended to mentally as we are supposed to. And so the doctor want to say it's bipolar, but I don't even see it as bipolar. I see it as if you just need some internal healing. Amen. You need to be delivered from your own emotions. And those emotions that took place when you was young, you couldn't understand. You couldn't uh, grasp because it was too much for you. Amen. So you got, you're carrying emotions of a 30 year old, but you're only five. You're carrying emotions of a 20-year-old, but you're only six. Because things have happened. When you become raped, when you become molested, when you become uh, beat, you know, those things. I'm not saying all those things happen to me. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just trying to put out some things that you can relate to. Everybody, Somebody has been molested before. Somebody has been raped before. Somebody has been taken advantage of. Somebody has, has uh, been uh, uh, used and abused. We all have been there. But at a young age, you can't, you can't fathom those things. You can't handle those things. So your mind becomes uh, tainted. It becomes tarnished. Your heart becomes hardened. Your emotions become to be at over, I mean, um, everywhere. Amen. And you become somebody that you are not because God didn't call you to be that person. The devil had plans and plots and schemes and snares and witches and warlocks put in place to try to take you out. Amen. Because he knew the call that you had on your life. He knew the destiny that God was calling you to. So before it came to pass, he tried to put those things in place to stop you. He tried to put those things in place to take your mind. He tried to put those things in place to, to make you feel like you're never going to be loved, to make you feel like you're never enough. To make you feel like nobody can love me or I can love anybody. The devil is a lie on this morning. He is a lie. He, 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 he sent the plan, but the plan didn't work. Amen. He sent his motive. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He sent his motive. And the motive was to stop you from moving forward. Amen. And so I'm talking to somebody this morning. You deal with mental issues. You deal with things in your mind. You, you deal with thoughts. That the enemy keeps bringing up over and over and over. Which is causing fear. It's causing anxiety. It's causing you to have sleepless nights. It's causing you to be in bad relationships. It's causing you to stay in bad relationships. Amen. And so we want to speak to that thing on this morning. Amen. Isaiah 26 and 3 says. That will keep him in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. Amen. I'm going to read it one more time. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Amen. And so if I keep 
my mind on Jesus, hallelujah, if I keep my mind on the word, if I keep praying, uh, watching and praying and praying without ceasing, if I keep praying and fasting, amen, I'm going to come out this thing, amen, if I keep my mind on Jesus, my whole environment is going to change, amen, if I keep my mind on Jesus, hallelujah, Hallelujah. My atmosphere is going to change. If I keep my mind on Jesus, those thoughts are going to cease because bad thoughts and good thoughts can't, can't dwell in the word of God. Amen. If I keep my mind on Jesus, hallelujah, this too shall pass. Amen. If I keep my mind on Jesus, hallelujah. Hey, God, mm. my God, hallelujah. If I keep my mind on Jesus, Hallelujah. Through the hurts and through the pains. I, I keep my mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Keep your mind on Jesus. Amen. Keep your mind on Jesus. I don't care what's going on in your life. Keep your mind on Jesus. I don't care if, if, if the, the mountain is raised as high as I don't know the sky. Keep your mind on Jesus. Amen. I don't care if they gave you six months to live. Keep your mind on Jesus. I don't care if they said that you have cancer. Keep your mind on Jesus. I don't care if the husband walked out and he said he wanted a divorce. Keep your mind on Jesus. I don't care if your kid's acting up. I don't care if they gone and you ain't seen them in 10 years. Keep your mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. So when I keep my mind on Jesus, that means I have to wait on God. Amen. I have to wait on God in his glory. I have to wait on him to fix my situation. I have to wait on him to come through for me because I'm keeping my mind on Jesus. My part is I got to keep my mind on Jesus. Amen. That's my part. Let me do my part. The Bible says to keep my mind on Jesus because he'll keep me in perfect peace. And while I'm keeping my mind on Jesus and he's keeping me in perfect peace, he's working out the kinks. He's he's straightening out the crooked places. Amen. He's bringing my kids home. Amen. He's getting his cancer out of my body. Amen. He's renewing my mind. Amen. He's creating in me a clean heart and he's renewing the right spirit in me. Amen. Because I'm keeping my mind on Jesus. Amen. Because I'm at peace in the spirit. Amen. Then God can do it need to do in the natural way, man. But if I keep my mind on other things, if I keep my mind on drinking, if I keep my mind on smoking, if I keep my mind on fighting, if I keep my mind on cussing people out, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Amen. But when I keep my mind on Jesus, my atmosphere has to change. Amen. Everything has to change around me. Hallelujah. Because I'm keeping my mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he trusted in thee. And the reason why I can keep my mind on Jesus and he'll keep me in perfect peace is because I'm trusting him. I can't keep my mind on Jesus and be in perfect peace if I don't trust Jesus. Amen. I can't do it. I'm not going, you can't lie to yourself. If you don't trust Jesus the way you need to, there is no way that you can keep your mind on him and you're going to be in perfect peace. So I got to surrender my heart, my mind, my soul, my spirit. I got to surrender everything, my thoughts, how I feel to be able to trust him. Amen. I got to give it all over to him because yes, I was molested when I was little. Yes, they beat me when I was small. Yes, I was took from my parents and put in foster care. Yes, this happened to me, but I got to give that all over to Jesus so I can have that perfect peace in my mind. Amen. And I got to give my emotions over to him. Yes, I'm hurting. Yes, I'm angry. Yes, I'm in pain. Yes, I'm confused. But I got to give all my emotions over to him. Because when I give my emotions over to him, he can give me that peace I need. Amen. He can put me on the right path. He can erase all those bad memories. He can uh, uh, cling me from the inside out of those, those negative emotions. Amen. Because what's in you is going to come out. Those negative things that was done to you as a child, they begin to come out as you get older. They begin to come out in anger. They begin to come out as you begin to smoke and drink. They begin to come out when you become promiscuous. They begin to come out. And you're wondering where did this come from, the, the promiscuity? Where did it come from? Well, she was, she was raped when she was small. She was molested when she was small. What you, what you think going to come out if it's not fixed the right way? The, I hear people say, oh, you need to say I'm not a product of, of, of my environment. 
Well, until you get your, until you change, until you get to the right place in God, you are a product of your environment. Because you know what? You're going to act just like where you came from. Until you surrender your will, amen. Until you surrender your mind. Until you surrender your way in the name of Jesus. You don't have to be a product of your environment. I'm not a product of my environment. I used to walk around and say, oh, I'm a foster child. I'm a foster child. I'm a foster child. No, I don't say that no more. I tell my testimony, but I'm God's child. Amen. I'm God's child. Because when I, even on my TV, with my internet, my name on my internet is God's child. And when you come in here and you want to borrow my internet, this is God's home. Amen. Sometimes you got to change the names around. Yeah, I know where you came from, but I'm not dead anymore. Amen. I'm God's child. He's been everything that I need. He's been, he's been my mother. He's been my father. He's been my sister. He's been my brother. He's been my uncle. He's been my family. He's been everything that I need. That makes me his child. Amen. That makes me a product of God. I'm not a product of my environment. And so you got to get to that place where you can say the same thing. I'm not a product of my environment. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a testimony of my environment. Amen. I'm an I'm a overcomer of my environment. Amen. But I'm not a product of it. I dare to be a product of my environment. Because God has been too good to me. Amen. God has brought me from a mighty long way. Amen. God has moved mountains that needed to be moved. Amen. And so how do I dare sit and say that I'm a product? I'm not a product. Amen. I'm an overcomer of Jesus. Amen. He's brought me out. He set my feet on solid ground. Amen. He's established my goings. Amen. And so when you come out and when you get this verse in your spirit, that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Then you'll begin to understand that all I got to do is trust him. All I got to do is just trust him. I got to trust him with every part of me. Even my thoughts, I got to trust him. Even when I feel abandoned and I'm not even abandoned, I got to trust him. Even when I feel like I'm being uh, put aside and I'm being overlooked and I'm really not, I got to trust him, amen? Because some of those emotions are just things that's coming from your past. And if you don't get them together, then you won't be able to move forward. Because that's going to be the very thing that's holding you and keeping you from getting into your destiny, amen? A lot of you need counseling and you don't want to admit it. You need to go sit down and talk to a therapist. Everybody talking about prayer. Yeah, prayer and counseling, honey. Not just, not just prayer. You need both. You need both. And I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm here to tell you. You can pray all day long. But there's some deep-rooted issues that you have to sit down and talk about. And I'm saying it because I am a counselor. And I'm not just saying it just to say it. And I know that that's what God called me for, to, to share the fact that you just can't pray, but you need counseling and prayer. You done been through some traumatic things in your life. You done been through some situations that you never talked about. And all that stuff is bottled up in the inside of you. And you're wondering why you want to fight every time somebody look at you wrong. You're wondering why you want to cuss somebody out. There's some things going on inside of you. Therapy. You need it. You want to talk to me? Let me know. Amen. But we want to we want to skip the therapy and the counseling. Oh, I don't need no counseling. What the therapy going to do for me? Honey, it will change your life. It change. I'm a counselor and I get counseling. Honey, don't get me wrong. I'm a counselor and I get counseling. Don't get it twisted. You do need counseling. I feel like everybody on this earth need to go see a counselor. I feel like it should be mandatory. Just like they, they want you to take these chicken pox vaccines and all this stuff. Everybody needs some counseling. Amen. It, make it a part of you living in the United States. You need some help. Because I'm telling you. If it was, the crime rate wouldn't be the way it is. Uh, divorce, suicide, all this stuff wouldn't be uh, as high as it is if everybody got a little touch of counsel. And amen. Once a week, just go into somebody's office and sit down and just run your mouth. Just talk. Just let it all out. Amen. I promise you, you're going to feel better. It's a cleansing. 
It's not nothing that makes you feel less of a person or make you feel like I'm crazy. You might be crazy. So what? They told me I'm crazy. You, you rub me the wrong way, I might get crazy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. We need what we need. And we need to stop playing with God. Because God ain't come going to come out the sky and put you in a counseling session. He's not going to come out the sky and say, Shamika, I'm going to walk you over here because I know what you need. He's already told some people what you, what you need and you just refuse to do it because you can't come outside yourself. And we still praying and asking God to change this and fix this. Ain't nothing going to be fixed until we fix what we're supposed to fix. So if you don't do nothing else today, ask God, do you need some help, some extra help? And find somebody that can help you. Oh, you know what I learned, even as a counselor, most people, me, when I'm in my counseling session, I answer my own questions. I answer my own confusion. All I'm just talking, I'm just talking, and I'm answering my own situations. Amen. So the counselor, if you get, now if you get a lazy counselor, they just going to sit there and let you talk. They just going to let you talk and then you just going to be paying money just to go in there and talk. But like I said, when you talk, you're going to hear yourself. You're going to answer your own questions. Amen. Your own concerns. You'll be like, oh, you know what? I just answered my own question. I need to do this. Yeah. Talk. I went to see one that she was supposed to be helping me, but we ended up talking about God and everything, and I had a cry. Wow. She wasn't the right one then. <laughs> if, if, you, if you helped her, she wasn't the right one for you. Amen. You need somebody that's going to help you. She want the one. You, 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 you were supposed to help her then. Because she want, if, if you go to somebody and you helping them and they not helping you, that's not the right one. Amen. So, um, wait on God. Amen. But you got to wait. While you waiting in God, waiting on God, you got to uh, keep your mind on Jesus as he keep you in perfect peace. Amen. We as a race think that we don't need counseling, but we need to wake up. Most definitely. Most definitely. They better not let me in the White House. Because I'm going to say, everybody need counseling. You hear me? If you don't, if you don't get counseling, you're going to go to jail. That'll be my that'll be the law for me. I make a law. If you don't have at least one week of counseling, you need to go to jail. I mean, one day out of the week of counseling, you need to go to jail and sit in there for a little bit. That's how that's how important and that's how sold out I am about it. Everybody needs it. Just a little touch of it. You ain't gotta go engulf yourself in it. But you know what you need. You know what you need. You know. But wait on God, wait in God, rest in God, and keep your mind on him as he keep you in perfect peace. Now you take that scripture right there with you and you hold that thing in your spirit. You wake up in the morning and you speak that thing over your life. You speak it over your mind. You get you some counseling and you pray. You good to go. You good to go. Amen. Amen. And so that's it for me. Um, make sure that you are taking care of your mental state. Because I know we got a lot of leaders on here. We have a lot of people that's in um, that's over people. But make sure you take care of yourself before you take care of somebody else. Because you can't help nobody else until you help yourself. I couldn't dare get on here and say, oh, you need to go to counseling if I've never been to counseling. That'll be a hypocrite, amen. Prayer request for this one. Hold on, I, I still got some prayer requests coming in. I'm sorry, y'all. Shalene lost her father. Okay, Lord, we just come to you right now. We pray for Desiree right now in the name of Jesus. We ask right now, God, that you will go with her, oh God. Be everything that she needs, oh God. Continue to help her to keep her feet moving, even in the midst of, of, of her confusion, oh God. Help her to keep going, God, and looking toward you that, because you're the author and the finisher of her, of her faith, oh God. We pray for her friend right now that, have, that has lost her father, oh God. We pray that you will comfort her mind, oh God, that you will give her perfect peace, oh God, that she keep her mind stayed on you, oh God. 
We ask right now, God, that you will comfort her heart right now in the name of Jesus. Send your spirit to her right now in the name of Jesus. Send your comforter right now in the name of Jesus. Give them everything that they need, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. And we pray for Miss Ivy, oh God. We ask right now, God, that you will be everything that she need, oh God. Yvette, I'm sorry I said Ivy. We pray for Miss Yvette, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you'll touch her body right now. Heal her mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Most of all, heal her mind, oh God. Heal her thoughts, oh God. Heal the things that come to her mind that's negative, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that she will keep her mind on you, oh God, even as you keep her in perfect peace, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. We speak peace to her mind right now. We speak peace to her heart, oh God. We speak peace to her spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And we'll forever give you praise, oh God. We'll forever give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for my brother. Oh, pray for her brother. We pray for Miss Yvette's brother right now in the name of Jesus. We ask right now, God, that you will heal him right now from the top of his head to the soul of his feet, oh God. Heal his mind, oh God. Whatever the need is, oh God, meet it right now in the name of Jesus. We lift him up to you, oh God. We give you thanks for uh, take, taking care of him, oh God. We give you thanks for whatever the need is that you're going to give it and you're going to grant it to him. And we give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, guys, that's it for me. Um, keep me in prayer, and I keep you guys in prayer. But at the same time, don't forget the word that went forth on today. Wait on God. And while you're waiting, make sure that you keep your mind in perfect peace as you keep it stayed on him. Well, he'll keep it in perfect peace as you keep it stayed on him. Amen. Um, also know that there are some things that we have to work out ourselves um, when it comes to Christ, he's not going to just come down and do anything for us. We have to do what we need to do. Thank you. God bless you, Dorothea. Love you too. God, God bless you. Um, so take heed to yourself. Take heed to your mental state. Take heed to what's going on inside of you. And don't always think it's somebody else. It could be you. Amen. And fix what needs to be fixed from your hands. And man, fix what needs to be fixed from your hands. Do what you need to do. And, and God will meet you. He'll meet you. The Bible even says, he helped those that help themselves. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He helped those that help themselves. And so in order for him to help, you got to help yourself. You got to position yourself. Amen. And pray about it. If you feel like you don't need counseling, you might be the very one that need it. Amen. The most people that need counseling, they don't want, they don't want to accept the fact that they need it. Amen. So just keep those thoughts and those uh, reminders in your mind on today. Um, stay away from negative people, negative energies, anything that could tear you down, make you feel some type of way. Stay away from those things. Amen. Keep your environment clean. Keep it pure. You keep yourself clean. Amen. If you're not married, don't be having sex. If you are married, make sure you're being faithful to your spouse. You know, those are those things are important. I don't even know why I'm saying it, but those things are important. Amen. Stay from a lying tongue, jealousy, malice, strife, envy. Keep those things out your heart. Amen. And it's a it's a it's a daily fight. It's a daily fight because people make you mad, they get you up, they hurt you, but you have to constantly pray over and over and over. Amen. And so God bless you. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the morning.